mankind. That word should have new meaning for all of us today. We can't be consumed by our petty differences anymore. We will be united in our common interest. Perhaps it's fate that today is the Dragon Con. And you will once again be fighting for our freedom. Not from tyranny, oppression, or persecution. But from annihilation. We're fighting for our right to live. To exist. And should we win the day. Dragon Con. It will no longer be known as an American holiday. But as the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. I know you planned it, I'm gonna sit straight like a little water gay. I can't rock and when I'm here cause you're a crystal ball and so crystal clear So while you sit back and wonder why I got this fucking thing running my side Oh my god, it's a mirage, I'm telling you all it's out So, 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 listen up, cause you can't say nothing. You'll shut me down with a push of your button. And yo, I'm out and I'm gone. I tell you now, I keep it on and on. Cause what you see, you might not get. And we can bet, so don't you get scooped yet. You're gonna scheme a thing that's a mirage. I'm trying to kill you now, Sals. Our backs are now against the wall, so listen all y'all. The sabotage, listen all y'all, sabotage. Listen all y'all, sabotage. Listen all you all, sabotage. I can't stand it, I know you planned it. I'm gonna set straight this water gate. Cause I can't stand rocking when I'm in this place. Because I feel disgraced, because you're in my own face. Don't make no mistakes and switch up my channel. I'm buddy rich when I fly off the handle. Why could it be? It's a mirage. You're scheming on a thing to sabotage. Does your computer sound like this? Well, imagine if it sounded like this. Fuck it. Fuck it.
Propane Z 2015.
Watch me. I'm on the floors, I like the lights, I shut the doors, I lock up the I tie the ropes, I pick the chains, I give them hope, I pull the drapes. I kill the lines, I pick the brakes, I make the shine, you wanna take the help the man, I shoot the fly, line the stage, I set the doors. I set up, I pick the mics, I run the points, I set the lights, I rake the pipes, I set the spot, I pick the stairs, I get them up.
to punch your face in the face. wear bright socks and I'm an avid Cleveland, Cleveland Browns fan. Hey, did you hear some dick sucking over there?
Smile, a Justin Bieber fanfic. Season 2, episode 33, a Homco book on tape. Hey, I took a little decision, nothing big. Just decided that I wanted to try to write differently, just to see how it works. Cause if I ever had to write a story for my English class, I can't really like like I usually do. So I'm going to try to write like in the books or something like that. It might be difficult for me cause I'm not really used to it. Well, yeah, but in French, so... Oh, BTW, just wondering, did you guys think there were too much details in that last episode? Tell me what you thought of it. Episode 33, Jennifer's Point of View. Come on, I really had to be unlucky. I mean, seriously? It was the first time I saw Justin in a whole freaking month. Was it too much to ask to spend a little time alone with him? And really, that was awkward. Scooter seeing me and Justin making out. Oh well. I changed into the clothes that Justin had given me, then I got out of his hotel room and went outside. Fortunately, it wasn't raining anymore. I returned to Brittany's house. The door was locked, so I had to knock. Danielle was the one who answered the door. She frowned her eyebrows and said, Oh hey, you're early. I thought you would spend more time with Justin. She was right, I answered. Yeah, I would have if he didn't have a sound check to do. Oh, okay, well, come on in. She opened the door a little wider and I entered. So tell me, she continued with a big, excited smile. How was it? What do you mean? I asked. 
Well, dot dot dot, come on, you're dating Justin Bieber! He's a normal guy, you know. I know that. Right. Seriously, Justin wouldn't be famous, and I would love him just the same. Danielle looked at me for a second, and then said, Hey, you weren't dressed like that when you left earlier. I know, I had to change because my clothes are wet. I said as I showed my wet jeans and shirt that I was holding. Where do those come from? Um, wow, if she knew what Justin and I were about to do or what we did, she would totally freak out. Wait, dot dot dot. Are these dot 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 Justin Bieber's question mark question mark question mark? I sighed. When I said that she was a huge fan, I was lying. She was completely obsessed. Brittany probably heard us talking from upstairs because I heard her saying, Danielle, quit annoying Jen and come here. I need your help with something. Daniel sighed and returned upstairs. Finally, I would have to thank Bree. I went into my room to change into more appropriate clothes, then returned in in the living room and turn the TV on. But I wasn't really watching it. I was thinking about Justin. Man, I was such in a good mood. I had missed him so much. About 15 minutes later, Mom and Sierra came back. Apparently, they were pretty close. When Mom entered, she came and hugged me. Hi, sweetie, she said whilst hugging me. I smiled and answered, Hey, Mommy, what's up? Nothing much. She looked at me and smiled. You look really happy. Did something happen? Yeah, I saw Justin today. Oh, that's cool! Sierra walked in and pouted. Oh, I would have loved to meet him, she said. Well, maybe you will, dot dot dot, later. I told her. Oh, Mom, can I sleep at Justin's hotel room tonight? She lifted an eyebrow and said, Uh, dot dot dot, alone? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Come on. He's 17. Parentheses, author's note. I forgot to mention it, but he is in the story because his birthday is in March, and it's like August in the story. So, yeah. In parentheses. And I'm 16. We're old enough. Mom got big eyes. I knew what she was thinking about. Old enough for what? She asked. Uh, dot dot dot. To stay alone for a night. Sierra was chuckling quietly next to Mom. I gave her a look, and she stopped. Hmm, dot dot dot. Yeah, but you guys be safe, huh? Mom said after thinking for a few seconds. I was a little embarrassed. I knew what she meant by being safe. She meant using protection. So she thought Justin and I would do it. Which we might do. Or not. Hee 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 hee. So can I? I asked her. She nodded and said, I guess so. I bet you really miss him. Yay, thanks! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, I exclaimed. I hugged her again and she chuckled as she went in the kitchen. No problem. So I could stay with Justin tonight. Yay! Sometimes I really love my mom. I sat back down on the couch and looked at the TV. Sierra sat next to me and said, Old enough to be alone for a night, huh? I chuckled a little and said, Well, what do you want me to say? I don't know. After a few seconds, she added, Well, at least Jane doesn't seem to mind that you're having sex as long as you're protected. I felt myself blushing a little. Who said I'm having sex with Justin? I asked her. She smirked and looked at me. I was still a little embarrassed, so I decided to say, All right, can we please change the subject now? Sure, she simply said. Want to see what I bought today? She showed me her mini bags, and I smiled a little. Sure. So... So how am I doing just for Smiley? Watch the beat, 
I ain't touching your hand, I don't fuck with chumps For those that been to jail, that's the cat with the Kool-Aid on his lips and pumps I don't fuck with niggas that think they bras Only know how to be one way, that's the dog I know how to get down, know how to fight Bark very little, but I know how to fight I know how to chase a cat up in a tree Man, I think that niggas the business for fucking with me Is you crazy? Wait a Son? I don't think you like it. Well, why not? I like this new generation of music. Glorious! No, I won't give in, I won't give in till I'm victorious! And I will defend, I will defend! Crushing Jelly Lawrence, Molly. He's an older man. He's handsome, kind. Oh, it better not be Tuxedo Mask or that cutie Andrew at the arcade because I've already got dibs on both of them. I don't f girls. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. I f boys. Oh, I'm sorry. You prefer men. I f boys. You prefer men, right? I f white, white boys. You, oh, oh, white or black? White boys. Oh, butt boys? With big butts. Oh, oh. <laughs>
It was a long time ago. It's a story about ghosts. Uh, one time there was this guy, and he went into this house, and uh, he heard this. He heard that there was a motherfucking ghost, like a, a spirit, a specter that lived there, and uh, he was like, "Oh, ghost, uh, fucking come out, and I'll prove that you're real, and then you can go on and uh, you know reveal yourself to the public." And uh, that ghost. That ghost uh, appeared to him and he said, really, you'll show me to the world? And the man said, yes, yes, I'll show you to the world. So the man and the ghost went, and they first they went to New York City, New York City, the largest city in the United States. And, and the ghost was well-loved, and they went to Chicago, and the ghost was well-loved. And they went to Los Angeles, city of angels. And the ghost was well loved, and uh, and eventually that ghost thank you, thank you so became much. Awesome President oh, Jimmy the Carter. Oh, the end. <laughs> Your candy's gone. That's what happened. Yeah, I'm gonna go get you. I'm gonna 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 get you. I'm g
chickens and my butthole and this is really butt shit wait what um yeah and i want to give a shout out to og pimp jesse and What's going on in Utah? It's crazy, Mike. It's crazy. This is what we know. Just try to calm down as I tell this story. A 13-year-old boy and two of his teachers started off texting, then sexting, then phone sex, and then sex. sex, sex, sex. Texting then sexting, then phone sex, then sex. Texting, then sexting, then phone sex, then sex. What's going on in Utah? It's crazy, Mike, it's crazy. Sex, sex, sex. What's going on in Utah? It's crazy, Mike, it's crazy. Sex, sex. We used to be four ordinary teenagers until one day we met some new friends from out of town. They were called Dinosaucers. My friends and I became the secret scouts, allies to these dinosaurs from outer space, and joined in their battles against Genghis Rex and the evil Tyrannos. The Dinosaurs are leaving, Bossasaur! Well, follow them! If 
if if we if magic was real, we'd all be in jail. All right, I wrote this on the 4 a.m. prior to Dragon Con beginning, and I'm recording it for a CD that like three people are gonna listen to. I really need to rethink my priorities, but right now, I need to play some motherfucking Farming Simulator 2011. You know what I'm talking about, huh? I need that sweet, sweet drive-by grade. One, two, nitro food! Motherfucker, don't do shit up, I'm a fucking nigga! You're restrained by my side, that's all hat, and I'm like a kitty leaf by the color of the shade on my tracker when I'm out there! I'm fucking probably an expander! Drive-by grade, but I drop through the whole side! Drowning in corns or up on the company's time! No, go, no, no pow! But I have the know-how! All the farmers doing the pow, I rule this town! No gold killer! Go on the freaking villa! Watch me dump all the hay, buddy, for your dinner! It's America, fucker, that's what you get! The Eagle is legal tender, fuck the hair on it! I'm a dick, the true bread winner! You want call the suckers, better deal with your letters in the center of the way, else you go through me! The man who has the food is the man who is king! You think we have nothing better to do than make little corn mazes for you and your hipster little friends to go through? No, no, you know what? I have not built an exit in this one. You're stuck there! You're stuck in the corn maze and you're gonna worry about your little quasi vegan metrosexual diet? Well, you know what? You can't do anything because I'm a motherfucking Donkey Kong In the game Donkey Kong, there are different levels and four different screens. At the first level, two screens are used. At the second level, three screens are used. Four screens are used at the next level. If you get past this level, each successive level adds one more screen. However, the original four types of screens in which they appear will be changed randomly. The object of Donkey Kong is to save the damsel in distress from the terrible Kong. I will now proceed with my descriptions of each of the four different screens and the important techniques involved in getting through each of them. How can you see into my eyes? Like open doors Leading you down into my core Where I've become so numb Without a soul My spirit sleeping somewhere cold Until you find it there and bleed it back home. Wake me up. Wake me up inside. I can't wake up. Wake me up inside. Save me. Call my name and save me from the dark. Wake me up. Did my blood run? I can't wake up. Before I come under. Save me. Save me from the nothing can become. Listen to that. The visual particle counter is going crazy. But I don't see anything out there. Neither do I. Maybe we'd better take a closer look. Hold on, kid. Here we go. I heard a radio like... I <laughs> Today, I'd like to consider myself as a Christian songwriter, and uh, I'd like to share a, a song with you that I wrote, and I apologize to you that I, I don't know it by heart, um, so I'd like to read it out of my book, Jesus' Poetic Song and actually sing it to you. 
I am your child. I wanna be. I walk a fine line between temptation and the inducement to heaven. Lord Jesus, because you are one with our Father, I am your son, I am your seed, I am your friend, I am your brother, I am your child, I want to be, I am your child, I want to be, I am your child, I want to be. You are my blood, you are my family, you are my Lord, please be my Savior, Jesus. That's it. On your way back up. Good luck, man. Uh, hey, I, I said financial advisor. I'm against this decision. <laughs> but noted. Uh, <laughs> Here we go. Good luck. Three cars. Yeah. Three cars. <laughs>
unicorns dancing on rainbows. Pink fluffy unicorns dancing on rainbows. It was made in tacos. Out in the street, tacos. All you can eat, lettuce and shells, cheese and meat. It's rain and tacos. Yum, 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 yum. Well, if I had a hammer, I'd hammer in the morning, I'd hammer in the evening, all over this land. I'd hammer out danger, I'd hammer out a warning, I'd hammer out love between my brothers and my sisters, all, all over this land. Change in the weather so it will become climate. We gotta adjust the planet for our monkeys and the primate. All we need is about three effects to change the process, and our planet can totally afford this. Albedo over here, which shows the reflectivity over there. On that little blue planet with the sun over there. But it affects the climate and our fresh new hair. So better get some air. There are also some greenhouse gases that we know, hey, which really blow, hey. So when you're breathing that CO2 in the air, hey, be sure you know, hey, that oxygen is in a greenhouse gas. Global climate change. Climate change, global. Globe, 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 global climate change. Climate change, globe, 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 
global climate change. Kurt Angle, call me 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 Kurt Angle. Bitches wanna fuck me, cause I look like Rambo. Goddamn day stop, flexing Kurt Angle. This nigga 25 bitches got the apples. Made back from the rice, watch the kids handle. Call me Kurt Angle, call me Kurt Angle, call me Kurt Angle, call me Kurt Angle, call me Kurt Angle. Call me Kurt Angle, call me Kurt Angle, call me Kurt Angle, call me. Uh, may I ask your name? Who exactly are you? Who are these? Are all the exact same question? Let's give her a tip of the fedora and say, "May I ask your name, milady?" God damn it! Uh, Watashi wa Yuki Kaze, dude. She's singing our song, bro. What's our name? <laughs> <laughs> and my name is John Cena. God damn it! <laughs> God, you gotta be f***ing kidding me. I'm the happiest man alive. Bro.